to go through because a lot of footballers and, and the reason I ask this is like footballers are human beings and yeah. like everyone has their own shit that they deal with but the expectation on them to play at the same level never stops you know what I mean and yeah. sometimes that's fucking hard to do yeah um, yeah man I've had heaps like I mean I obviously still have them now like yeah. uh, everyone does yeah, yeah. Um, obviously with, with football it, it, it's kind of you got nowhere to hide it's because it's on show and, correct um, so for me obviously going through a breakup with my marriage yeah my kids going away being told from Melbourne Victory that I wasn't going to be um, the, uh, like a Melbourne Victory player or yeah. resign um, I didn't know where I was going to be I didn't have a contract I had no skills outside of football uh, so everything that, uh, could have happened, happened all at once. Like, you know, so for me going to football and, and training were, was an outlet to, like to release, to release. Yeah. And then, um, that wasn't even working for me. Yeah. You know, I was ringing up training sessions saying, oh no, I can't go. You know, I can't, but I'm, I'm, I'm sick. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and just would lay in bed. I couldn't cope. Um, but you know, that's life. Everyone has them. And yeah. I, I was fortunate enough that I have had people around me and, and especially my brother to pull me out of moments when I thought that it could have gone either way, you know, yeah. um, especially with the people that I was hanging out with. Um, it's funny how it's funny when you're in situations or in bad places, you attract people that you yeah. think are, are, are the right ones. Yeah. Um, and then still they, they probably mean well, they meant well, but um, I, I found that probably with myself, um, it was more about Archie Thompson, the football, and Archie Thompson, the real person. Yeah, of course, and then, right. And uh, so that kind of, uh, those experiences helped me kind of, I suppose, weed out things that were important in my life and and, and, um, and, and the people that were important. Yeah. And I guess too, like I thought that football was like the most important thing ever. Man. <laughs> and, but it, for me, it actually, it isn't. Yeah. You know? And you don't realize it until you're out of it. But I've, I guess... I suppose it's um, the mindset you got to have when you're in it, though. It's you got to be very selfish. You got to be driven, and sometimes you get a bit lost in that. So I feel like if if you can, if you're a young one going through it, if you can have that ex awareness to know that, um, okay, it's not you know, it's not the, the you shouldn't be all yeah, end all, right? be all end or shouldn't take it with you, yeah, uh, and just enjoy it for what it is because you know there's other things important in life than just football. Hundred percent, and yeah. this was a big part of the reason why. I I started 